Welcome back everybody to another Frostborn beta test update-ish video. And this one, well, it's going to be controversial. Yes, it is the update 1.6, not necessarily comparable to Last Day on Earth's update 1.6, but equally as significant, and let me explain. But first, if you haven't already, consider subscribing and joining my Discord or following my Twitter right there, there. Sometimes I just do improv giveaways or any of that, so join. Follow, do that stuff. Alright, Frostborn, let's go. I know half the players are going to see this update as the greatest update that saved Frostborn, and half the people are going to say the update that completely killed Frostborn. So, I guess let's go into that. What do I mean by that? And that is raids. Yes, raids are back. Raids are mandatory again. So I suppose the giant wave of hashtag keep truce didn't necessarily work in the Frostborn server, even though, if I'm being honest, a lot more of the Frostborn players were screaming keep truce from what I saw. But regardless, Frostborn ended up going the route of removing the truce, but they made shields a little bit longer and extended orb of protections to balance it out. Orb of protection now lasts for 48 hours and your shield lasts to 96 hours. So technically, in theory, if you got a shield and then you orbed so you have 96 hours, and then you just don't log in, and then you never play again, you cannot get raided. But then again, that also means you're not playing at all, so... Yeah. I, for one, am a little bit curious to see how this is going to go down. I feel like a lot of the newer players are going to hate it, a lot of the older players are going to jump back in raids, and I don't know whether they're going to be happier or something like that. I know they're definitely going to be happy about being able to raid again, but I, for one, am a little bit annoyed that I actually have to deal with this kind of thing again. I can definitely foresee Odin trips or people who hide all of their loot at Odin's during the raid will become a lot more frequent for players who don't like the raid and were in favor of keeping the truce. And as always, I wish Frostborn raids were kind of like Clash of Clans where you can only raid a specific amount of materials. So imagine if you could wipe out somebody and get every single resource in their base. I don't think that game would even be playable at that point, so I kind of wish Frostborn was like that with regard to you can only steal a certain amount of stuff, but then again, I can't understand the appeal of wiping somebody out. The second major change, and this is definitely a good change, is now you can pick the order you learn any class. So you don't need to unlock, let's say, Berserk 3 in order to unlock Protector 3, you can just unlock Protector 3 or go for that instead of pushing the Berserk class, which I think is definitely a good change. Frostborn was long overdue for this, so good job, that's a good change. Another change they added, this kind of like campfire circle area at Newheim, which basically you'll just sit by the fire and you can gain this effect, which will increase your attacks at the Sanctum of Odin, dealing additional damage, and the effect depends on the quality of your equipment. The higher your gear, the greater the effect. They added a new type of potion to the game, Elixir, kind of the Clash of Clans reference I was bringing up earlier, which lasts for one hour. As they say in the patch notes, Elixir of Survival increases armor and effectiveness of self-healing, while Hunter's Elixir increases your armor and damage with ranged weapons in the forest and rock locations, tombs, and sanctums, which are good for PvP or PvE. Note that only one Elixir effect can be applied to a character at a time, so you can't stack them. And then you can find these in noble slash royal treasures, so the crates at Odin's, or purchase them from the trader at Newheim. I honestly think that is a good change. I could see people pushing that, or it could just become another potion that people end up using to make Odin's a little bit easier and save a couple of resources. They added a couple of balance changes, which I'll put right up on the screen right now. And then they added push notifications, which definitely a good thing. I could use the reminder to actually remember to log into the game at some point. So that'll be nice. Maybe, just maybe. These notifications will tell us if the rating stuff is still active or still a problem or something like that. And then they're planning a giant sale in the shop, which is a good thing. So stockpile your coins now to be ready for that sale. I'm assuming it's going to be like the spring or winter sales, which are definitely a good thing. Definitely help me prepare up my base. Anywho, I think that's going to be where I end this thing off here. Just a very quick video talking about some of the changes, some of the implications for the changes that I can foresee, and kind of my rough thoughts about what I think. 
Personally, I'm somebody who was in favor of the truce. I thought that the truce was a really good idea for players like me who just don't want to log in every 96 hours to go fight somebody who may or may not have max gear and just end up losing everything. I personally would rather opt out of it. I don't think PvP should be absolutely mandatory or be hard punished. I don't know. Let me know all of your thoughts down below. Are you in favor of the truce or do you think that this update saved Frostborn or is it the worst update ever? Let me know all of that down below. Subscribe. I definitely don't think it was the greatest update that saved Frostborn, but I'm curious to know what you think. Subscribe. ZD out.